Considering you followed the importing and basic setup of the previous tutorial, what you're going to see is all of your pages have now successfully been added. And the essentials that make up the Adrift theme have also been imported. So if you go to your home page in WP Admin, you're going to see a familiar structure that mimics that of the Adrift theme. And I'll just go ahead and type that in so we can kind of see how things correlate. Now um, on our installation site, which is what I'm using to uh, create these tutorials, everything's pretty much blank. All the words and titles and all that good stuff have been put in because the modules were imported and they were told to be imported in this specific order that you see in WP Admin under the sections. So we have full screen highlight feature list on and on that cascade down the page. That's exactly how the modules work. You can drag and drop these and add more to create your home page. But for now, I just want to walk you through a similar setup for how we created the Adrift home page. So if you again go back to the full screen highlight, which is a full screen video and serves as one of the better home page introductions and what we used on a drift. Um, just like anything, you're going to have to provide your own image. But for now, let's go ahead and select our file. Um, actually, let me back up. The first thing that you're going to see is the background video and a background image. Now, what happens is you want to assign a background image because they're going to load faster than a video and by assigning an image it's going to load quick while the background video loads in the background so you can kind of see this happening on the adrift theme if you refresh it I won't do it here but you'll see a still image of this video first and then after a little you know time passes the video will start playing this makes it more seamless for visitors to your site they're not going to see a blank page or a loading icon or anything like that um, so what you want to do is go ahead and select an image from your media library and then go ahead and do the same thing with the video uh, what i'll do is use a couple examples i'm going to go ahead and upload an image first from my demos folder and let's just go ahead and go to the photos let's use these guys I think they're lemurs go ahead and select that image and then after that we're going to select a video just the exact same way all of this is typical WordPress uploading stuff through the media section um, let's find a video here do, 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 do. Here we go. And we will use, let's go ahead and use this photography video. And of course, like anything, you're going to want your file sizes to be relatively low. Um, Adrift is designed to handle quite large videos because what it does is it streams them. So it's not loading the full video the whole time. Um, each time it's streaming them and kind of loading in the background. So this one's actually five megs. Let's go ahead and select that. It's not huge for a video color or a color, a video file, but you know, not exactly small. Um, let's go ahead and update that. And we will refresh our installation temporary site. And what you'll see first is the image loads and then the video loads. Um, Ideally, you want the image to be very similar to your video. That way it's more seamless, but you can do whatever you want. It's a good way to, um, it's just the best way to do it for more seamless loading. So if we go down the page, we're gonna see blank uh, icons. Like anything, you're gonna have to add your own icons. Uh, I definitely recommend the Noun Project for that. You can download icons and use them for like a buck a piece. Uh, they are you you're allowed to use them free but they want you to um, provide you know give credit to the creators which can be hard to do on a site so I mean it's like pay a dollar for an icon you'll add those there uh, and as you see like I said you just are going to progress down the page adding photos uh, where you want to add them 
to flesh out the page until you get exactly what you want. Now, Mapify Pro is also a module um, that we call, I believe, the full width highlight. So what you see here, I haven't created the map using Mapify Pro. That's why it's blank. So you're gonna wanna create your own map um, and you'll just kind of, you'll just paste your map um, short code under the content here. It's under the full width highlight. This compatible with Mapify Pro section is this little pullout area. And the final product, of course, looks like the map here once you add your own map. Now, this section above the map is also blank. See, we have We Are Storytellers, but there's nothing here because that is the latest blog posts. And you get to specify how many you want right there. So I have six, but in the installation demo, I haven't written any blog posts. So they will automatically be added in any amount uh, that you like by putting that there. So that pretty much covers the, the home page and basic file structure of how to build a new page using the Adrift theme. Uh, it's very versatile. You can pretty much mix and match and you can customize these quite a bit. You can customize the background to each module. So you can make this blue with white text um, or any color of background and font. And that goes for just about every module, any of them with the words, um, even the testimonials and the team members, uh, they, they can be customized to whatever you need. Uh, it just takes a little bit of getting in there and working around, but after you've installed the demo, uh, XML file, it's pretty darn easy to get your site up and running.